everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be doing another mod review. So it's been a while since I've done it. I mean, it hasn't been a long time, but it has been a week or two since my last mod review. That rhymes. Um, so today, as you can probably tell, I'm in a completely different place. This is going to be my new mod world, with this being the place where I sort of do my mods. It just sort of makes it have a purpose this building so I can actually just sort of put my mods in here whenever I get them so this is it starting off now so as you saw in the title it is this mod I can't remember the name it's like journey something I don't I can't remember the name but it has a name and um it'll be in the title but anyway in this mod as you can probably tell in the top right is a mini map so obviously minecraft doesn't have mini maps but this mod does so you can see it says north east south west on it so compass directions above it says the time of day which is very useful if you're going out in minecraft you would know what time it's getting dark if you're in a cave and you just know what time it is like accurately um beneath it you have your coordinates your x Z and Y's, um, you know, up, down, left, right. Um, it also tells you the biome, so right now it says I'm in the plains, which I guess I kind of am. I'm surprised it doesn't say like mountains or something because I am quite high up. But that is that. Oh, bit of a lag there. Um, this is a cool little door I made, look at that. Ooh, fancy. Um, so yeah, that is that. But if I press J, then this happens so you've got a whole map of wave loaded so i think i spawned somewhere over here so that's why it hasn't loaded a whole bunch of chunks i'm not sure what that grid's doing there but you can turn on all this stuff like uh grids it will show you all the grids like the chunks um you've got day and night so in day and the night and then biome which is i'm in the plane so it's green Topography, which is basically like relief, if you don't know what that is, and then go to school. I mean, um, what you need to do is basically just um, terrain, like this is higher, so I'm on a mountain, so it's whiter, and then the grass, the greener, the grass basically is the lower land. And um, so that's that. You can also go cave layers, vertical chunks and stuff. But if I go show caves, it won't work at the moment because I'm not in a cave but if I go I won't do it on here I'll I will load into my recording world and I'll show you the cave there um but that is pretty much it for this world because I haven't gone very far it's not really very interesting you can't see a whole bunch you can change the um sort of display you can have stronghold desert temple end city forest mansion Nether Fortress, Ocean Monuments, but I'm just doing the um, purest one, uh, which is basically just like Minecraft setting ones. You can also show caves, as I said, mobs, animals, pets, villages, and so on. You can also save the map down here. Um, that'll just save it as a picture, and you can draw on it, send it to your friends, whatever you want to do. You can zoom in and out, so you could really zoom in if you want into the blocks. Another cool thing is you can teleport by using this. So you can teleport anywhere in Minecraft, but it's hard to know the exact coordinates of something. So if you want to teleport, let's say I want to teleport. So I'm here right now, this little blue thing. Let's say I want to teleport right next to this lava thing. I'm going to right click and then go to teleport and I can spawn right by it. And um, it's going to lag because I'm loading the chunks. Actually, no, it didn't. So, and if I want to go back to the top, I can just, you know, go over here. Oh, firstly, these red circles are hostile mobs. I don't know what that is. It's running fast. Um, but if I want to go back inside, let me just go to, like, the front door. Um, select the block and teleport. So I'll be right back outside my base. And, um, so... That is pretty much it for this mod. Um, I can't really show you all the hostile mobs and stuff yet because this is in my modded world and I haven't set that up. Um, 
But one final thing I'm going to do before I go into my recording world, or my, um, I don't even know, it doesn't have a name, so it's difficult. Um, I can press waypoints. So right now it's called testing area, it's one of my waypoints. Let's say I went down to this lava, sorry about the rain, that's going to be annoying. Right click on this lava, lava put waypoints, and then create waypoint. Let me put like lava. Oh, it always misses out the first letter. Um, so lava. And let's give it orange because it's lava and then save and then you've got a little waypoint down here that says lava if i go outside it will also have a beacon so you can see where it is um let me let me clear this weather i'll just be one minute okay so anyway as i said you can have the waypoints right there and it also the distance from where you're standing so 80 meters i go further away it gets up obviously and this is just the test area and that's pretty much it for the mod i'm pretty sure i'm missing probably some stuff but um that is the main ideas you can get about pages and options you can have presets um you can also change stuff like if you don't want players location on it you can turn it off or grids or whatever you want to not show up you can also turn that off so that's very good and um, I'm going to load into my video world now and I'll show you what it looks like as a full map. Okay, I'm in my world, which I pretty much just named the world um, James's Fanatic World, just to keep, uh, keep it simple. Now you may notice a few things since the last video. So first, I've got these iron golems now, and the reason is because I've recently um, got... Well, it's like an old PC, but we sort of fixed it, so now it's actually okay. And, um, so yeah, I've changed my world from Xbox Bedrock to Java on PC, which wasn't the easiest thing, but I managed to do it. So now I've got these guys strolling around, which might be annoying if I accidentally punch a villager, but I'm, I think they changed something about that, so they don't always get angry. But, well, I heard a witch, that wasn't good. Um... So yes, it will be also running a lot smoother now because I'm on um, a faster PC. Um, but it might lag a bit at the start because it's loading chunks. But anyway, enough about that. Um, I'm going to go sleep and then I'll show you the map in the daylight. Okay, so now it's daylight. I will go into my map view. Here we go. So this is my village, obviously. You can see it. It's just like the basic map as... I have right by the um, tower but it's obviously a bigger map and I can actually control it so there's my main village obviously and if I zoom out you can see a whole bunch more um, about where I've been so this is obviously bigger than the other map because I've loaded more chunks since I've had this Minecraft world and um, so this is me here, obviously, all these green circles are the villagers. I'm not sure what that red one is doing there. Uh, that might be that witch that I heard, but I don't know where she'll be spawning, so I might have to look up, look. Might have to um, look for that. That could be ending up being bad. So um, yeah, if I zoom out, we've obviously got everywhere, which if you don't know what all these things are, then you should probably catch up on some of my videos, that'd be quite nice. But you've got my church, the queen statue, the farm, my original house, and everything else on the island. Um, so if I go up here, you've got where I spawned. You see, you can tell where I spawned because it, these are the old chunks from 1.17, which is where I walked from here to my house. So that's why you've got a desert all around this with just the grass path growing through it. I haven't actually been back there. I was going to do that for a video, so I'm going to do that at some point. I'm going to go right to where I spawned somewhere in here and then go back um, to my house and see how much it's changed. So you can obviously see all this has changed, but um, it's quite cool to see because if you've got 1.19 now and you played it like this, you wouldn't be able to get this bit through the middle and also most of this place would look different. Like if you go there now, you don't have any of this land. Um, which I might make a video on as well. So if you don't have Minecraft and you want to see the seed, which I have, I don't even know why I'm saying that because I haven't even given the seed to anyone yet. But I'm going to do that as a video. I'm going to go there 
in newer updates and see what my town looks like. But here we go. There's my main map, so obviously that's where I came from. I don't know when or why I actually came down here at one point. It must have been for some reason. Um, but anyway, most important thing for me to show you here is obviously this. But when I went to the mangrove swamp, I can just show you how far I went. So here's obviously the town. I went all the way down here, past this um, jungle and the mushroom biome. More jungle, more swamps. I went all the way up, followed these. Um, that witch is really annoying. Um, all these forests, all the way around. I'm over, under, kept going. I went so many blocks until I eventually found this. And that was it. That was my mangrove swamp. It's tiny, tiny. And that is at X8000, which my house is at X1000, I think. So I travelled 7,000 blocks to find that mangrove swamp, and it wasn't even very good. So that was a real disappointment. You can also see my railway, which is interesting, from the railway. All the way going up here, through that village, which I might do something about. And then all the way across the ocean to my, um, whatever you call it, the mines. And uh, this is the entrance to the Lush Cave. So, that is pretty much it. If you have never seen this before, this is basically my world, and um, I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, that's enough of me talking. So that was the mod review. It's a bit weird ending a mod review in my normal Minecraft world. It won't always be like this. Um, and um, yeah, that is this mod. Okay, again, I'm sorry I can't remember the name, but um, I'll put a picture on now. That's the mod. The link will also be in the description. So if you want to download this mod, then you can do so. And there we go. That is it for this video. And I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope here was a useful mod review. And um, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.